that revelation. Damn. That's left field. Like, left field. Right. Well, I guess right field. You're saying right field. But yeah, left fucking field. Like, oh my god. Irisu is Nagisa. Nagisa is who the fuck. So, whoa. Whoa. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. So, this revelation of the plot. Holy crap. Damn. Just, just give me a few moments to admire the plot twist. Like, usually I can sense these things coming, but no. This plot twist left fucking field. Like, I don't think any of us probably saw this coming. Nah, nah. We all probably saw Nagisa and Irisu being siblings, maybe? Cousins? Well, we all sense something like that. But not where Irisu is... Nagisa, and it's not just that it's not just that plot revelation that makes this episode good It's the politics and this is why I like politic anime like I why I love this shit why I love it Wanna know why? Because with the setup of last episode and majority of this episode it all looked like it was going in Nagisa's favor Like should I even call him Nagisa? Like I mean think about this like Nagisa's not even his real name. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna call him Nagisa, and I'm gonna call Irisu Irisu. That, that's what I'm gonna say, okay? I, I'm not calling Irisu Nagisa, and I'm not calling Nagisa Nagisa as well, because that's too fucking confusing. So, just to settle that right now, Nagisa is still Nagisa, and, you know, Irisu is still Irisu. So, there you go. Now, back on topic. I thought Nagisa was going to win, because with all the setup of last episode and this episode with the politics and seeing the warfare on different politicians, I thought it was all going in Nagisa's favor, because from what we have witnessed from him since the beginning of the series, or first two episodes, we've always seen him be a very good businessman. For instance, he's always played his cards right, he always knows what to do, and it always seems like he will come out on top, because he's a great politician. And we are completely incorrect. Eh, no, that, that did not fucking happen. Nagisa lost this little politic game. He, he lost. He did right now. Because right now, the move that his brother, his older brother just made was unexpected. Nobody could have saw that coming. It's like a head honcho of, like, let's say, Democrats and Republicans, okay? It's like someone on the Republican side deciding, you know what? I don't want to be the head no more. I want to join with the Democrats. And they switch over sides and they fucking merge. That's kind of what just happened. And I'm like... Bro, this is why I love fucking politics and anime. This is why I love Spice and Wolf so much, man. Oh, the Sun Coin arc. Sun Coin arc. Oh, love that arc. Fucking love the Sun Coin arc of Spice and Wolf. Not gonna spoil, but oh, Sun Coin arc. So, seeing this right here with the politicians, you just running around with their heads cut off, Nagisa losing, and then him just standing up by himself, and he just looks around in the room, and he's like, why is nobody fucking standing with me? You realize how awkward that is? Like, oh, like, it's like seeing someone say a very bad joke, like a very bad joke was just spoken, okay? And all of a sudden, you stand up, and you're like, <laughs> you know, clapping a lot, and you're like, yeah! And you're the only one doing that shit, and everybody around sitting down looking at you like, the fuck is wrong with you? That, that's kind of how that was, and Nagisa standing up and all that. So, I like it. 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 Ah! Oh! Classic Crassus. So good. It had such a slow start, but now it's like straight uphill. Like, it's going straight uphill, and it's getting for that climax to where it can start going downhill to be a fucking amazing series. That's, that's what it is right now. Oh. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Seriously, how do you all feel about this episode? How do you feel about all that's going on? I mean, with the plot reveal, the plot twists and stuff, to the politicians fucking each other over, to the parties merging together. I mean, how do you all feel about that? I know it's something we don't normally see in anime, especially with a twist like that that none of us expected because... There's hints that they're siblings, but not to that extent to where they were just swapped. So, to dive into that before I end this review, I'm going to assume the reason why Nagisa is, you know, kind of not really Nagisa, is probably because in the past, because of the flashbacks we saw, I'm assuming that before he became known as Nagisa, he 
got that name because he wanted Irisu to live a normal life, or the parents wanted her to live a normal life, and so they forced it on top of her to where she would, you know, go by herself and live a free normal life, and Nagisa being the scapegoat was to be used as a person that will take her place and take all the abuse from the Kiryus. So that's kind of what is going on. So tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Y'all have a wonderful day or not wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi